All points of a sample cannot lie above the estimated least squares sample regression line which is given by this equation. Before I answer this question, let's visualize what the question is saying over here. So first of all, let me draw a scatter plot of the sample over here. So let's say this is how the scatter plot of the sample looks like. So on the x-axis you have the independent variable x, on the y-axis you have dependent variable y and these are the actual data points that we have. Now the statement that we are given is all points of a sample that is these blue points that I have drawn cannot lie above the estimated least squares sample regression line. That means the question is saying we cannot have a situation like this. So this is the sample regression line y i hat equal to b1 plus b2 xi. So the question is asking can we have this kind of situation or not. So in this situation that I have drawn over here, all the points of the sample, that is these blue points, are lying above the estimated least squares sample regression line, that is this white line that I have drawn over here. Do you think this can happen? Well, the answer is no, this cannot happen. That means this statement is true. Now let's understand why is this statement true and we cannot have this scenario. Well the reason is that in this scenario, so let's consider these x values over here. So this is the fifth x value, sixth, seventh, in total we have eight x values. So over here, this line is giving you the fitted values. So for this particular x value, this is the fitted value. So let's call it y1 hat and this blue point is the actual data point that you have. Let's call it y1. Similarly, if this is the second value of x, then this is the fitted value. So this is y2 hat and this blue point that you have over here, this is the actual data point. So we are going to call it y2. Similarly, I can call this y3, this is y4, this is y5, this is y6, y7 and y8. So these blue points that I have labeled from y1 to y8, these are the actual data points. Over here we have the x values, so x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8. Note that we have only one independent variable over here, these are the different values of that independent variable. And corresponding to these x values, we have the fitted values over here. So this point is giving us y3 hat, this point is going to give us y4 hat, this point is giving us y5 hat, this point is giving us y6 hat, this point is giving us y7 hat and this point is giving us y8 hat. So all the fitted values that you have over here are below the actual data points. Now how do we define residuals? Well the residuals are the difference between the actual y value, so the difference between the actual y value minus the fitted y value. That means the first residual is going to be this difference. So y1 minus y1 hat, this is your first residual and I can call it e1. So e1 is the notation for the first residual. y2 minus y2 hat, that is this difference. This is my second residual, this is e2. y3 minus y3 hat, this is the third residual. y4 minus y4 hat, this is the fourth residual, you can call it e4 and you can go on like that. The thing is that in this scenario, E1 is going to be a positive number because Y1 is greater than Y1 hat. Similarly, E2 is also going to be a positive number because Y2 is greater than Y2 hat. E3 is also going to be a positive number, E4 is also going to be a positive number and so on. So all of these residuals that you have over here, they are going to be positive. And if all of these residuals are going to be positive, are we going to have summation of the residuals equal to zero? Well, this cannot happen then. And this is one of the algebraic properties of OLS that if you are fitting a line using the method of OLS and if you have an intercept term in the model, which we do have in this case, then the summation of the residuals do come out to be equal to zero. That means some of the residuals have to be positive, some of the residuals have to be negative and once you add them, the sum should definitely come out to be zero if you are working with the method of OLS and if your model has an intercept term. And is that going to happen in this particular case? No, you cannot have summation of EI equal to zero because if this is the scenario then all the EIs that is all the residuals are going to take a positive value and the sum of the residuals will never become zero. 
Okay, so till the time you're working with the method of OLS, you cannot fit a line like this. This will not happen. So this statement is true that all the points of a sample cannot lie above the estimated least square sample regression line. In fact, they can also make a change in this question. Instead of above, they can also write below. So they can reverse the situation. And if they do that, then the actual data points will be below the fitted data points. But even that is not possible because if all the actual data points are below the fitted values, then all your residuals are going to be negative. And if all the residuals are going to be negative, then even the sum of those residuals is going to be negative. That is the sum will never come out to be zero, which cannot happen. Okay.